Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. This is our reading for December the 12th. And it's titled, <clears throat> I'm Taking Care of You. And it's from the little book, Jesus Calling. And it reads, nope, I'm going to read another story, family. This comes from the little book, from the book, um, Blue Every Morning. I read this one first, and I went back and forth trying to decide if I wanted to read it. Um, but maybe somebody needs to hear this story, so I'm going to read it. It's titled, The Lost Horse. Our scripture lesson is 1 John 4, 19, and it's titled, We Love Him, We Love Him, Because He First Loved Us, The Lost Horse. Abba, Abba Father, whew, thank you, Lord for this story. Lord, um, just thank you. May it be a blessing um, here, but Lord, I'm not going to um, not read the story. So bless Lord as it goes out. Continue to heal our land. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It says, The Lost Horse, December the 12th, from the book New Every Morning. Our neighbor Richard lost a horse last night. He finally found her at the bottom of a small ravine. Somehow, she had stumbled in the dark iciness of the early winter evening and slipped over the edge. And there she lay. Legs folded beneath her, unable to get up. This situation reminds me of the story Jesus told about the good shepherd who went looking for his lost sheep. Then he returned, rejoicing, carrying it on his shoulders. But the ending of this story is different. Another difference is that the horse doesn't even belong to Richard. Pacer belongs to his wife, Diana. But that really doesn't matter because Richard loves Diana and Diana loves this horse deeply. She's had her since she was a newborn filly. Pacer is more than 20 years old now, but she has another problem. The vet says that cancer spreading throughout her innards will take her before spring. So she's been spending her days in her warm stall, only venturing out of the barn each evening for a slow ramble around the pasture. It's dark now and it's cold, below zero. Richard has found the horse, but he can't rescue her. Richard and Diana's ranch lies in a remote piece of country in southeast Montana. At the end of a road that is equally remote and completely innocent of gravel or scoria or, scoria or any such improvement. These conditions preclude most kinds of travel in anything but dry, sunny weather. And the, ravine, and the ravine in which the horse lay is inaccessible to his tractor, which he would need to help lift the 900-pound animal to her feet. So Richard did the only thing he could do. He went back to the barn and got her heavy padded blanket. Tucking it around her, Richard then lay down beside her, hoping that his closeness and his own body heat would somehow lessen her coldness and comfort her through the night. She died the next morning. Yes, I thought that, that the ending of this story was different from the story of the Good Shepherd, but maybe it's not. Sometimes the sheep suffers, maybe even dies, but it is never alone. Always it is covered with the shepherd's warm 
blanket of love. And even and the even warmer sense of his holy presence never leaves. One day he will come, rejoicing, carrying his beloved sheep on his shoulders. Amen. Our reading today for December the 12th was written by Jeanette Busby Johnson. And so, you know, for me, it was a sad ending. And sometimes, I mean, we live in a world where there are sad endings. And so I said, Lord, I don't want to read this story. So I said, I read Jesus always because it's something that's going to like teach us or whatever or encourage us. And so I put this book to the side. And when I turned on the camera to do the reading, um, and I pulled up Jesus Calling, as you all heard me at the beginning of the video, and that's what I was going to read. But the Holy Spirit said, read the Lord's horse. So, Abba Father, thank you for my listening. Thank you for, uh, once again, I'm able, Lord, by your grace to surrender and listen and be obedient. Be obedient. This story, Lord, has meaning to it for someone out there. Bless us, Lord, and keep us as only thou can. Thank you, Abba Father, for your healing hand upon us all. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, that this blessing, this prayer, takes the blessing of this reading and place it where it needs to be. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family, for your patience, for your love. Thank you for all the comments. Welcome to our new subscribers. Um, it is December the 12th. This is our reading for December the 12th. And I'm getting ready to sign off. And by his grace, I'm going to see you in a little bit with our reading for December the 13th. Have a good night, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, whatever time you're seeing this. I love you. Have a blessed day. And remember that the greatest love that we all experience is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. There's no greater love. Amen. That's our song. No greater love. Amen. And y'all might get the other one. That's when he steps in because I'm still playing it, family. That's, that's when he steps in. Amen. But no greater love. Amen. Good night, family.